Hi, in today's video we're going to show you how to connect a Tonewood amp to an iPhone and then have the Tonewood amp output uh, MIDI sounds, anything from cellos to drums, and uh, through the actual sound hole of the acoustic guitar. And that's the benefit of this Tonewood amp is you don't actually need an amplifier, it uses the body of the guitar to vibrate the sounds out and it actually comes out through the sound hole. And it's actually a pretty clear sound. So first of all, you'll need a tone wood amp and you want to install it, put the magnets on the inside and then slap this thing on here and it, it sticks pretty good. Those magnets are really strong. So do not put your credit cards next to this. So second of all, once you get that installed, you know, plug it into your pickup. And also, when you make when you purchase the tone wood, make sure you purchase the cables that come with it. And the cables are there's actually one short and one long, and they can only go in into the iPhone in one specific way. The short goes into the iPhone, and then the long part goes into the insert on the back here. So like that. So you need to make sure that you actually have an iPhone with a jack. So the new ones are all Bluetooth. So, and also this iPhone needs to be running um, iOS uh, 12 or higher because the MIDI guitar app that you actually use is going to uh, require 12.0 12 12 or higher. So it's actually called MIDI Guitar 2. Um, the first version actually had an issue with the uh, with iOS 12, and so they did an update. It took them a couple months to get it out, so it came out in like February of uh, 2019. So the first thing you do is also download a, an app called Sample Tank, and you can get the free versions and get it to work. But Sample Tank, or sorry, uh, MIDI Guitar 2 will uh, keep prompting you and will cut off the sound. So. I would actually go and just purchase it. It it is kind of expensive, but if you really want to do this, it's well worth the money. So I ended up spending about forty or fifty dollars on both apps. But anyway, um, so yeah, so start up Sample Tank, and you can see it's started up now. And then I'm going to choose something like a cello, and. Uh, you can look at tutorials on how to get Sample Tank to work, but we'll just use the basic where it's um, there's no pre-programmed uh, sound. It just goes off the sound of your guitar. And then second of all, then you go to MIDI Guitar 2, and you set up, I created a new one called Default, and just made sure the audio device is iOS audio. And then if you scroll down to the next panel and that panel will then you eliminate all the FX here and then select MIDI output and on MIDI output then you choose sample tank and then to get rid of this screen there's no exit button you just gotta swipe up and then it goes back there but the important thing is is to background MIDI guitar 2 and then put sample tank back on in the foreground. So it's like this. So just leave it off to the side and then I'm gonna put it here. And so then once you turn on your guitar, or sorry, your tone wood amp, if you just want the sound and no other effect, I put it on uh, DSP bypass. And so now with the cello sound, if I play something, no amplifier just comes straight through the sound hole you can see how loud it sounds so if I go back and then choose some maybe violins or maybe uh, let's choose vibes go to like an organ or something Let's go to music box. Or 
harpsy. And let's do some, let's go back to violins. It's a little too loud, so let me turn it down. And if you actually put it on a hall effect or room effect on your tone wood, It's all set up. There are so many things you can do with this. And actually, in my next video, I will show you how to lay down a track that you can play through Sample Tank. You can do like, you know, just bass, uh, bass runs. And even if you want a drum set going too, you can actually have multiple tracks running. And uh, from there, then you could actually then play along with it. So this. Tonewood amp actually gives you all the benefits of having a MIDI device now. Kind of like the old uh, Roland uh, guitar that was a, a MIDI guitar, um, it, but it was an electric guitar. But now with a standard acoustic guitar, you've got MIDI outputs and just even standard effects too. If I shut it off. but no effect. So there you go. I hope this helps.